Good morning. Psalm 78, verses 32 through 39 says, But in spite of this, the people kept sinning. Despite God's wonders, they refused to trust in him. So he ended their lives in failure and their years in terror. When God began killing them, they finally sought him. Then they repented and took him seriously. They remembered that God was their rock, that God Most High was their Redeemer. But all they gave him was lip service. They lied to him with their tongues. Their hearts were not loyal to him. They did not keep his covenant. Yet he was merciful and forgave their sins and did not destroy them all. Many times he held back his anger and did not unleash his fury. For he remembered that they were merely mortal, gone like a breath of wind that never returns. So Psalm 78 is written by the praise leader Asaph. And it's given to him by the Holy Spirit. I mean, it's a psalm that's intended to teach the people of Israel a historical lesson. All the way back in verses 2 through 4 in the psalm, Asaph states, I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known. Our fathers have told these to us. We will not hide them from our children, telling them to the generation to come, telling them the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he's done. So Psalm 78 is a spirit-filled compilation of things told by generations before. So what were they trying to communicate to their children? Well, just what the psalm says. They were trying to communicate things like, don't ignore the ways that God has cared for you. Like, God could end your lives at any moment. They wanted to communicate that we must decide whether we will seek him, repent, and take him seriously. We must be careful that we're not just giving lip service. Words without the corresponding actions are meaningless. They wanted to communicate that God is merciful, but our lives are only a breath of wind. We must choose to follow him while we still can. Good advice for their children. Good advice for us. Pray with me. Lord, today I ask that you would help us to remember all the ways that you've cared for us. I ask, Lord, that you would help us to give you more than just lip service. That not only would we give you our words, but we would give you our actions as well. And Lord, I pray that you would remind us to we only have a limited time to choose to follow you. And that this day, we need to make our choice. Lord, thank you for these words that are a reminder to us. Generations before us and us and generations to follow. Help us, Lord, to choose to follow you this day. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you.